welcome back to the second session of our online classes today i will start another chapter from advanced geography that is chapter 3 population growth and distribution according to 2011 it is a census done according to the United Nations Declaration okay so the world population has reached 7 billion and about 90% of this population lives in different parts of the northern hemisphere the population growth rate and the nature of population distribution is different in different parts of the world because of differences in physical factors economic factors and social factors all these factors are different in different places and therefore based on these differences or variation population distribution also varies significantly The growth rate population has never remained the same since the time of origin of human beings. The population almost remained the same only during the early period of human history and afterwards gradual changes took place in the population growth. And the population growth rate became quite high for the last few years that is during the period 1950 to 2000 and therefore it is uh, due to a spatial variation spatial variation means place variation differences in different environment or different region population growth rate and the distribution of population on the earth has also become uneven okay population growth in the world the size of the population remained very small until the end of the long homeless jungle life of the human. But slowly, that is uh, uh, from 8000 BC, uh, when uh, agriculture became slowly permanent, then the population estimated 8 million. And the main reason behind this small population size or low growth rate during that period uh, was most probably due to occurrence of famine and epidemics. At the time, uh, people uh, did not have the capability to overcome such situation because there was a uh, lack of uh, food and if they suffer from starvation or hunger then they face different sort of diseases which uh, could not be cured at the time and there had been large scale death and uh, with the permanency of agriculture and slowly slowly when agriculture started being permanent then the supply of food became slowly easy then then Onwards, population in the world started increasing somewhat rapidly. So, with such growth trend, the world population reached 200 million from 8 million. Before, it was only 8 million and slowly, slowly, when uh, people started cultivating and they got uh, a sufficient food to eat, then population slowly start uh, growing or increasing and it reached 200 million during the uh, that is the uh, beginning of the christian era and the world population crossed 1 billion in the first decade of the 19th century that is approximately uh, in 18, 1808 and uh, during the subsequent 200 years, the world population increased by 7 times and reached 7 billion. 
and the world population witnessed rapid increase from the middle of the 20th century and the world population grew from 250 crores to 600 crore during the 50 years that is from 1950 to 2000 it means the world population got increased by 350 crores within a period of 50 years that is from uh, 1950 to 2000 as against the growth of 150 crore within a long period of 150 years during 1800 to 1950 and this phenomena is known as world population explosion emergence of such a situation had been possible only due to certainty in food supply, then rise in standard of living and advancement in medical science. And due to these three reasons, population explosion took place, population increased, right? It may be mentioned that according to the United Nations announcement, the world population reached 700 crores mark on 31st October of 2011. But the growth rate of population is not same in all the areas of the world. So now we will see reason wise variation of population. Depending on differences in changing socio-economic development, there had been variation in population growth rate between the developed and developing countries of the world. The average annual growth rate of population during the period uh, 1750 to 1950, it was much higher in the developed countries. It is percent wise. Uh, it was 8% than that of the developing countries. But this population growth rate got reversed between the developed and developing countries during the period from 1950 to 1970. The growth rate of population during this period became 1.1% in the developed countries and 2.2% in the developing countries. Such differences in population growth rates had also been observed at continental level too. The growth rate of population during this period was highest in Central and South America among all the continents of the world. Again, when this growth rate of population is uh, uh, looked at in absolute term, the growth is found to be the highest in the world's most populous continent, Asia. It is because the population of Asia increased from 502 million to 3680 million during the period from 1750 to 2000. On the other hand, this increase was from 2 million to 316 million in the case of North America. What, what are the main co uh, reasons for this increase? The main reason in case of Asia, if you see, then it is due to high birth rate. But it is due to population migration from Europe and other areas in the case of North America. The reasons are different. If we say about continent of Asia, the increase in population is due to high birth rate. But if we say about North America, then it is due to migration. Okay? On the other side, the prevalence of almost a stable population and extremely low population growth in Europe is due to very low birth rate and out migration of population. Due to high birth rate, 
the population growth still remains quite high in most of the countries of Africa and some uh, Muslim dominated countries of Asia. And in such a high birth rate population, a large part of Asia and some parts of Africa have started experiencing a variety of environmental and economic uh, as well as social problems including uh, population explosion and rising population density. So I am concluding my class uh, here for today. For better understanding, you just go through the uh, today's portion, okay? Uh, okay, in the next class, I will discuss another topic that is about uh, uh, distribution of world population. Thank you.